So interview season is here and during your interviews, you may be asked questions about current affairs and current affairs questions are there to see if you as a person are concerned with things that are happening around you, with things that are happening in the world, because nursing or healthcare is an ever-changing system. New things are coming in, so you should be someone who is ready to consume knowledge, new knowledge. We don't like those kinds of nurses and midwives in the system because they don't like to learn new things, okay? So that is what current affairs questions are there to do normally when you are in a district where something peculiar is happening they can ask you questions about it they can ask you current news in the health sector and also the normal normal mp or mp your district assembly and all of that so earlier this month the ministry of food and agriculture confirmed Cases of anthrax in the Binduri district of the Upper East region of Ghana. And that is a health concern because people are getting infected with anthrax. And so if you are in the Upper East region, if you are in the Binduri district, if you are applying for public health nursing, if you are applying for any of the allied health courses, especially disease control, you may be asked questions about anthrax and so in today's video i want us to talk about anthrax and give you some knowledge about anthrax so that in case you are asked in your interview you will be able to answer so what is anthrax anthrax is a serious disease caused by a bacteria known as bacillus anthracis commonly found in the soil the bacteria primarily affects animals that eat grass so from the animal then it goes to the human being so animals that eat grass will include cattle cows um, goats sheep yeah these three they are the common ones that eat grass like in our home settings they are the herbivores and then from there when a human being eats then an infected animal then they can also get infected. Normally, it's not transferable from person to person. So if somebody has the infection, it's hard to be transferred to somebody else. So people get infected by eating food that is contaminated or drinking water that is contaminated by the bacteria. Sometimes you can also get it when you come in contact with the bacteria and it enters a cut on your skin. You can also get anthrax and also sometimes it can be inhaled you inhale the bacteria so yeah those are ways that bacillus anthracis is transferred from animal to human being one thing about the bacteria is that it can endure for a long time so let's see sometimes an animal will die and a drool it's its blood or enter the soil so the bacteria can pass through that and enter the soil so when it enters the soil the grass will also pick it up and grow with it so it's in the grass growing and then another cattle will come and feed on that grass and the bacteria can stay in the soil for a very very long time now let's look at some few signs and symptoms and then we focus on the prevention because that is where uh, if you are a public health, if you are going for public health nursing, you will be asked because prevention is the business, okay? So signs and symptoms, if it's on the skin, then you will see a group of blisters or bumps that may itch. As I say, ashens you. That's a blister, ashens you. And it will break. When it breaks, the center will be black. And it will be painless. If you touch it, it will be painless. But the is it to form like a ring so the outside rather is painful and has a sore and the sores can appear on the person's face neck or arms those are the common places that the sores will appear if the person eats contaminated food or drinks contaminated water then the person will exhibit gastrointestinal symptoms and some of which could include may include fever and chills swelling of the glands so the we have glands here 
it can become swollen and if the glands become swollen then the person will have difficulty swallowing and sometimes sore throats and so your voice becomes hoarse so that the person can speak in the normal tone that he or she normally speaks and like, ah, yes that is the hoarseness of voice okay uh-huh then the person can have nausea and vomiting you can have diarrhea, just normal diarrhea or bloody diarrhea. So there will be blood in the poo poo, stomach pains, abdominal swelling and all. If the person inhales the bacteria, then the person will have respiratory tract signs and symptoms. And one of them will be still fever and chills, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, confusion or dizziness. There will be cough. Nausea and vomiting, headaches, sweats, often drenching. So the person can wake up and the bed is wet or whatever he or she is wearing becomes wet at four. That is drenching sweat and extreme tiredness and body aches. Those are some of the signs the person can exhibit. Now let's go to prevention. Prevention is key. So ways you can prevent anthrax is by exercising caution when handling animal carcass because you don't know what killed that animal the second thing is that you ensure that the meat you are eating is from a certified abattoir the third one is to avoid eating hide wele wele or nigerians will say pomo because one thing about the bacteria is that they can hide in the skin of the cattle so even to the extent that drum makers those who make drums can even get infected even though they've skinned this animal dry the hide before using it for drum they can get infected because the bacteria is that stubborn there should be proper disposal of animal remains and yet <laughs> it's so surprising that last year it was monkeypox and the same adichromate, you should avoid eating bush meat and co. And this year is anthrax. It's like the, the, the world is telling us not to be eating too much meat, okay? It's fish. All right. So, yeah, you should report every dead animal. Animals that just die out of nowhere, you have to report those cases to the veterinary office so that they can do research, test the animal to see if it's safe for eating before you continue and consume. Because the case that was detected in Binduri, in the Binduri district, is like the animal died and people ate it. And when they ate it, I think 11 people were tested positive for the disease and even one person died in relation to that so far, to the best of my knowledge. So yes, report dead animals to the veterinary office and also vaccination of livestock. Actually, we are supposed to vaccinate our livestock, dogs, cats, goats, sheep, cattle, all of them, so that they will be in the best of health when we try to consume them. Because in Ghana, and Nambia, and also promoting awareness within our communities about anthrax disease. So in your interview, if you are asked, um, they can ask, if they ask you general questions like what is anthrax, then you you know that it's a severe disease caused by the bacillus anthracis bacteria. If they, they can ask you where was it confirmed in the district, in the in the country, they can ask you the region, which is the Upper East region, they can ask you the district, which is the Binduri district of the Upper East region. And they can ask you about the preventive measures. And that is what we've discussed right now. So, yeah, that is all there is to know about anthrax. I hope this helps you to add one layer of preparation. Because, hey, you might not be asked in your interview, but you may be asked. So, if you prepare and you are asked, then you know how to answer. Like and share and subscribe if you've not done that yet. And I wish you all the best in your interviews. Bye.